Hey, so welcome back to the multiplication table project. In this video, I want to show you how I built this login page. And it's just actually a special page. It's not only the login that it will do, it's also the registration and the reset password. So everything is on one page. So let me show you what it is behind the scenes. So we have some top left and right region. This is just to show like to align the objects a little bit better. So we have the title and on the left an image and on the right we have the region that will change. So login, register and forgot password. Those three regions we have here. So those are uh, sub-regions. And we basically hide and show those regions. And the way you do that is uh, through dynamic actions. So here show register Whenever I click that link, that register link, I will show the registration uh, region and I will hide the other two. And there's one thing that I'm doing special. Um, I am setting a hidden item, the action, so I know which action I clicked on. And I need this for my processes, so I know which process I need to kick off. So the same thing when um, I click so I'm here, I click the login. Um, so the same dynamic action, I show this region, uh, I hide the other two, and I set the action to login. And this is the default, the login is the default, because I think people uh, would like that more. Um, so when they click on login, a process will fire. The first three are for the login. So here we see, there's a service side condition, P2 action is login. And I use page two. Normally you would have page 101 for the login page. Um, we have the same processes. So we do an Apex authenticate.login. So this means in shared components, you will have the authentication scheme that's being called. For the register, so whenever our action is registered, we, we call our own package to create an account. And for reset password, we call our own package again with a different procedure, request reset password. The last bit is the branches. So we go back to the login after we click the reset password. So let me do that, click the password. So I fill in my email, click reset password and I get a message back and I'm back on the login page. So a link has been sent. In any other case, so whenever I click login or I would register for a new account, so register now, what happens is it will create the account and it will automatically log me in. And the way I'm doing this is, um, so here's the package I'm calling MPL out package create account. So this is a procedure. So when I look at create account, um, I'm, I'm looking for a password. Um, I'm hashing the password. And here I'm inserting in your user, the, so the email address that you entered. And I'm doing an automatic login. So, um, that's for the registration. Now for the login, to do the custom authentication, what you have to do is you have to go to shared components. You go to authentication schemes and here's my custom authentication. On my blog, I explain the different steps to create this. Basically, we call this, this procedure in this package. So custom authenticate, I can go here, custom authenticate. We have two parameters. We check the password. So we, we get the password from the database, it's hashed. It's hashed. Uh, we hash the password that you entered. Uh, and we compare the hashed values of the both passwords. And what I also do is uh, whenever we are authenticated, I will call another procedure, post authenticate, and this will basically set some values so um, some application items in session state. So that's, that's uh, the authentication part. Now, when I log in, what I also do is uh, I have some authorization schemes. 
So I have two authorization schemes, one for administration and one for users. So if I look at the administrator, so again, there's no logic in Apex, it's all in the package. So we go to the out administration um, function. So here it is. And we just check which role you have. And a default user has role one and an administrator has role two. So uh, authorization administration, just two. A user, normal user is one or two. So any administrator is a, is a normal user as well. So I hope that gives you a bit of a uh, better view of what's happening on this login page and how I build it.